<sighs> Welcome to 2 a.m. news on CQ and 74th, Mike Eastern, Myron Pump. Welcome, Springfield. Today is the start of the nine days running in the Bulls celebration in Pamplona, Spain. Here's Judy with that story live. This celebration includes fireworks, parades, dancing, music, bullfights, and religious ceremonies. Running of the Bulls starts at 8 a.m. every morning during the celebration and lasts about three minutes. They choose six bulls each morning to run. This is called En Sierra. The bulls run a half a mile run through the city to the bull rings where the bullfights are held. This, is, this can be very dangerous to runners and bystanders. Since 1924, 14 deaths, 57 serious injuries, and 11 people have been gored during the bull runs. Now we have Mr. Fleur for an interview. So tell us your, our, your story, Mr. Fleur. Well, you see, I was running with the bulls a few, a few years ago, you see, right, right on the street, and you see, and I, and I slipped. And you slipped? What did you slip on? Some, some road. And I <laughs> slipped, and it was wet, and the bull came right up to me as I was getting up, and he got me in the, in, in the, yeah, and then, and I spent a long time in the hospital, and... How long did you spend, Mr. Fleur? Like, three or four months, and, and I got, I got out of the hospital, and I was thinking, man, that sucks, so, I'm still going to do the running of the bulls every year. Nice job, Mr. Fleur. Thank you. Thanks, Judy. Now, Michael, we have something to say on bullfighting. We had a few problems today in the bull ring. A couple of people got majorly gored. Here's John with that live. Thank you, Mike. And now a little bit more on bullfighting. First, they choose six bulls and three matadors. This happens at noon. The president of the bullfight chooses signals for the first bull to be released. In the final section of the bullfight, the star matador trades in his yellow and purple cape for a red or for a red cape and a curved sword. When he kills the bull, its carcass is quickly removed and sold to butcher shops. Ears and tails are awarded as prizes. And now we have a real live crew of bullfighters here to show us some of their fighting skills. So tell us, do you have fun doing this kind of stuff? Here's some video clips of us. <laughs> How's the food coming? It's coming great, Jim. First, we've just got our dish, and we put four pieces of bread in it. Then we take our cheese, and then you just plop them in there like so. And then you just take them, and then you just, if you want, you can add this fabulous sauce. And then um, you stick it into to the oven. For about five minutes to let them soak in and simmer down the, the sauce. Hmm, okay. Well, while we're waiting, Jim, I'm just going to tell you about some traditional history and foods. Mexican foods almost always have tortillas. They also like to use rice and beans. Cheese is one of the main ingredients in an enchilada with chili green pepper sauce. There are a lot of different types of cheeses you can use in enchiladas. But I use, prefer using cheddar cheese. Well, that's all. We'll see you next time on Easy to Make Foods. <laughs>